What's up everybody, Big Jano here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the series Anycubic How-Tos. Today, we're gonna be taking a look specifically at the print bed on the Anycubic Mega X. It's one of my favorite features of this machine. And today we're gonna to talk about how to level the bed properly so you get great prints every time. And we're also gonna talk about some tips to maintain your bed so you get the most out of this machine. With that said guys, let's get started. The Anycubic Mega X's bed material can be described as an ultra base bed. In layman's terms, this is basically a glass bed with a specialized mesh coating that ultimately helps adhere the prints and helps remove the prints with ease. So what do I mean by mesh coating? Well, if you take a look at the video clip below, you can see the print surface on the bed, and you can see it makes up a bunch of tiny little dots on the print surface. These little dots, when the print bed is heated, expand, or if the bed's cooling down, they contract. And by doing those two things, it either helps keep the bed and the print adhere to the bed easier, or it helps pull the print off by contracting and trying to rip it away from the grip it had when it was heated up. I like to think of it as a temperature dependent suction cup. Like I discussed in my Anycubic Mega X review video, this machine has four bed leveling knobs that are located underneath the corners of the print bed. I find the bed leveling knobs on this machine to be very well designed. With ease of access underneath each corner of the print bed, as well as the large size of each bed leveling knob, I'm able to level the bed easily on this machine and without any issues whatsoever. With those features, it's easier than ever to get good bed leveling with this machine, and I'm gonna show you guys an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to level this bed so you guys get perfect prints almost every time. To start the bed leveling process, you're gonna to go to the home screen and select tools, followed by home, and then you're going to select Home Z. At this point, the X gantry is gonna start going all the way down to the lowest point on the Z axis. If it's up real high, it might take a while, so be patient. At this point, you'll need a piece of paper to assist you in the bed leveling process. You could also use the piece of paper that was taped onto the bed when assembling your 3D printer, which is what's shown here below. With the piece of paper underneath the hot end and nozzle, drag both things to one corner of the bed to start the bed leveling process. From there, you're gonna take the piece of paper and start dragging it underneath back and forth until the nozzle starts dragging on the piece of paper with a little bit of give, but also with enough room for it to move freely. If it's too tight, the paper's gonna stick. If it's too loose, you should have no resistance whatsoever. Use the adjuster knob on the print bed itself to make those adjustments so it gives it has a little bit of resistance, but still able to move freely. You're gonna do the same thing for each corner, and then you're gonna go to the center of the print bed and see how the paper feels. If it feels too tight, make some adjustments on the corners, and then you're gonna repeat the process two to three times. I find that doing this multiple times gives you the most accurate results when leveling your bed. When leveling each corner of the bed, I highly recommend making adjustments on the fly with each leveling knob. I recommend having one hand on the piece of paper moving it back and forth, as well as having another hand on that corner's leveling knob to get the adjustments just right. Don't forget that turning the knob counterclockwise is gonna lower the bed away from the nozzle, while turning it clockwise is actually going to raise it up closer to the nozzle. Once the steps are done for the bed leveling process, I highly recommend setting up a test print to verify that your bed is level and consistent across your entire print surface. I recommend a test print that takes no longer than an hour worth of print time so you can get quick results and if you have to make any adjustments, you can do it without wasting a ton of time. I also recommend watching the first few layers of your print to see how well the layers adhere to the print surface. If you see the layers being squished into the bed too much, or you start to see the nozzle scratch up against the glass surface, then your nozzle is too close to the print bed and needs to be raised up. On the contrary, if you start seeing the layers pull away from the print and not stick correctly, then your nozzle might be too far away from the print bed and may need to be lowered down. If either of these situations happen to you, don't worry, just go back and restart the bed leveling process, going to all four corners again, and then hitting the center again, repeating the process until you get the results you're looking for. If you take anything away from this video, it's that making sure your first few layers are adhered correctly and dialed in so that the rest of your print can print properly and have less chance of failure. I have a few other tips for you guys as well in terms of bed adhesion and to ensure you guys get great prints every time. 
In terms of cleanliness, I recommend dry wiping your surface down with a microfiber towel before every print to get any dust and debris off the surface. I also recommend not touching it with your hands too, too much directly as grease from your hands might cause issues with adhesion. I also tend to stay away from glue sticks or other adhesives to use when 3D printing as this machine actually has a good surface of adhesion that I actually don't need any of those. Now, depending on what material you're printing with, you might need some adhesive to keep your print in place. At that point, I recommend using less adhesive rather than more as more adhesive on your bed can cause more of a mess and the potential for long-term adhesion issues. Another big tip I have with this machine is to let your print bed cool completely before removing any print from the surface. Having it cool completely gives the surface enough time to let go of the material while I was gripping it while printing. I find that when the bed's not completely at room temperature, that prints on the bed are a lot harder to pull off, so letting it cool down the room temperature ensures that it gives enough time to let it go, and it doesn't damage the bed, and it doesn't damage your print. A win-win. If you don't wait long enough and prematurely pull the print off the bed, you could tear the coating off of the print surface and damage the bed more permanently. So there you have it guys, there's our in-depth look at the print bed on the Anycubic Mega X. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, especially if you just got this printer, or if you're struggling with bed adhesion, I hope you guys took a tip home with you to try out on your printer. Let me know down in the comments below as well if you have any other additional comments or questions regarding this topic, as well as if you have any other suggestions for future topics on the Anycubic Mega X you would like to see covered here in the video. Seriously guys, I'd love to hear your suggestions and comments. Don't forget everybody, I'm also on Twitch and Twitter as well, my other social media platforms. Twitch a few nights a week, I live stream gaming and printing. Come check me out, twitch.tv slash bigjano, as well as Twitter, at bigjano, you can find me there. And on Twitter, I let you guys know when I go live on Twitch, as well as when I drop new YouTube content, so come follow me. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to go hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, hit the notification bell while you're up there, so you'll be the first to know when new content's coming your way. With all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for me for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I'll catch you in the next one, and until next time, as always, keep doing it big.